Mr. Lightval, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. I'm not accusing you of being involved, Mr. Lightfall. I just wondered whether you had heard anything. Yes, I see. Um, we have had attempts to break in here before. A lot of the government forms here have value to criminals. I think you're in this up to your neck, Lightball. You're out of your mind. What an allegation. I'll report you to your superiors. The chief of police is a very good friend of mine. A very heartfelt and genuine apology is in order from you, young man. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. You sure you don't know either of them? Never heard of either, gentlemen. You sure about that, Mr. Lightwell? You sure you've never heard of them? Are you making an accusation, young man? Do you have any kind of proof? My word is my bond. Character is in short supply these days. You could do with gaining a little. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Surely that isn't confidential information, Mr. Lightball. Not for me to say. It would be better if you got permission from my clients. I think you're deliberately hiding those records, Lightball. Cough them up. I'm sorry. What evidence do you have for that? You really don't have the first idea of what you're doing, do you? We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. I'm giving you a chance here, Lightball. A chance to come clean. Your reputation, your business, you'll be ruined. You'll be lucky to get a job back on the beat once I've spoken to the chief and the mayor. You're the one that should be worried, officer. Your money and influence will be worthless in San Quentin. If you don't go crazy in the first couple of months, then you'll probably get knifed in the chow line. Is that what you want? Save it for the suckers, detective. You'll get nothing from me. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. 
What you're doing here is slanderous, detective. And you'll be hearing from my lawyer about it. 